hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video tutorial you know that we have successfully sort and arrange the posts in descending order that is whenever a user update a new post then the new post will appear here at the top so you can see that we have successfully done that in the previous video tutorial so if you have not watched our previous tutorial then go and watch our 40th tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to start work on the send friend request cancel friend request and accept friend request functionality so let's say i'm going to send friend request to Amon Ford so i will click on her profile and from here i can send friend request to her okay so let's start working on that so for that first of all we have to disable this decline friend request and then let's work for that i mean you will understand everything so first of all go to the person profile activity which is uh, this one and now here we have uh, this initialize field methods uh, initial initialize fields method and inside that if you come here then this is the method and we cast these buttons in uh, these fields the text views and the two buttons inside here okay so this is our decline friend request and this is the send friend request button so now here above we retrieve the user information that is when we click on someone profile then uh, the user profile will be displayed okay i hope you know that i tell these things in the 47th tutorial okay we made a tutorial on that so now in this tutorial we will work on the send friend request cancel friend request and decline friend request functionality so let's do that before wasting time okay so now as you know that uh, inside our own create method come down here and below this we can here we can say decline friend request dot set visibility to true sorry not true that should be invisible okay view dot invisible decline friend request and then we can say decline friend request dot set enabled to Now the next thing is come here above and we need to create a boolean type variable not a boolean now first we will create a string type variable and let's call this variable as current underscore state current state variable and go to here to the method which is initialize fields and inside this method we have below these two buttons we are going to say current state equals to not friends not frie and ds not friends so with the help of current state we will do really important task okay this is dependent i mean it depends on all our three functionalities that is the send friend request cancel friend request and accept friend request and one more thing let me tell you before we move next if i you can see that here is my profile i mean i am now login using my own account which is mohammed ali if i click that then you can see that i see this friend request i mean i cannot send friend request to my own account so we have to uh, apply a condition for it so that a user cannot send for request to his own self okay and yeah let's do that so for that i will simply come here and inside our own create method here when we say decline for request uh, decline for request dot set enable to false then after that we can say if sender user id and before we use the sender id we have not get the sender user id okay so we have the receiver id which we get from the previous activity 
I mean you can see that we receive that visitor user ID means the receiver user ID that is when we click on someone's profile then we get the ID of that person I mean to whom we will send friend request so it is the receiver user ID now we need the sender user ID and the sender user ID is the online user that is I am now currently online uh, on this app inside this app so th we have to get our own ID and that is really easy so how we can get that you know that so here I will just say below here we can say sender user ID equals to m auth dot get current user dot get UID so in this way we get the ID of an online user which will be our sender user ID that is I will send friend request to someone okay so yeah that's it and now come down here and here we can say if sender user ID dot equals to the receiver user ID so if not okay if not sender user id dot equals to so it means that the sender id should not be equal to the receiver id otherwise we can display it in the else statement now here uh, let me write the code then i will uh, explain it further so here we can say decline friend request dot set visibility to invisible and also for the send friend request send friend request button dot set visibility to invisible and then inside this if statement we will write the code for the user that is we will set a click listener on the send friend request button so send friend request button dot set on click listener new own click listener and inside this on click method we go we are going to say send friend request button dot set enables to false so before we write further code let's run our app and then I will uh, tell about I will explain this code which, uh, which you wrote here okay so let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the find friends and now I will show to you guys so first of all let's go to my own personal account and you can see that we cannot see the send friend request and decline friend request button because this is my own personal account and I cannot send friend request to my own self if I show you the code then let me tell you guys that here when we say if sender user ID not equals to the receiver user ID exclamation marks means not okay I hope you know that and basically this means that is the sender and the receiver ID should not be equal so if these are not equals then it will be some other user I mean some other profiles else statement means that this is my own personal account if the sender user ID and receiver user ID are equals to each other then it means that this is my own personal account that is when I click here then it get the receiver ID and also the online ID so both IDs are equal so it means this is my own account so I we disable you can see that we invisible these two buttons here now if I go to someone else's profile let's say I am on fault profile then you can see that we see the send friend request button here and this is basically the if statement that is if the sender ID is not equals to the receiver ID so that's why we see only this send friend request button and the decline friend request button is disabled for all the user that button you can see that here above we disable it for all the users this dis this decline friend request button will be visible only when we send friend request to Amon Ford then Amon Ford when open his account then she will see the decline friend request and accept friend request button instead of this single button okay when she, when we send friend request to her you will understand it more clearly when we work on it in the further i mean the upcoming video tutorials so in this video we have uh, we just apply these conditions that is on the send friend request and the decline friend request so in the next video we will be further working on it okay so in this video we just uh, set a click listener on it and we uh, make the send friend request to uh, 
uh, in a false I mean we enable it as a false okay I mean a boolean type variable this is a false okay so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will continue it from here okay so yeah that's it for this video so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now